In today's top cryptocurrency news, November 28, 2022, in the first new, staking tech firm, Kill closes $17.8 million, eyes future ETH staking demand. Staking infrastructure firm Kill has closed a $17.8 million fundraising round led by the likes of Consensus, GSR and Kraken Ventures. In the second new, make a DAO community votes against CoinShares 500M investment proposal. About 72.43% of the community votes went against CoinShares proposal to invest make a DAO's funds into various traditional assets. In the third new, Price Analysis 1128, SPX, DXY, BTC, ETH, BNB, XRP, ADA, Doge, Matic, DOT. Turmoil in China, concerns over the global economy, and BlockFi's bankruptcy filing are all weighing on crypto markets this week. In the fourth new, Kraken settles with US Treasury's OFAC for violating US sanctions. The US-based crypto exchange agreed to pay more than $362,000 as part of a deal to settle its potential civil liability related to violating sanctions against Iran. In the fifth new, Jack Dorsey's block sues Bitcoin.com for trademark infringement. The use of the designation verse constitutes an infringement of our clients' trademarks under German trademark law, Block's legal counsel said in a letter to Bitcoin.com. In the sixth new, FTX logos and promotional material still everywhere despite bankruptcy proceedings. Though some officials have removed all traces of their deals with FTX, the firm's branding still appears on a few sports venues and merchandise. In the seventh new, crypto fund investment still dominated by the United States database. Crypto database shows that most firms are venture capital at 52.8% followed by hedge funds with 44.3%, and then private equity and mutual funds at 2.9%. In the eighth new, Game7 allocates $100 million in open-source technology grants for Web 3.0 gaming companies. We're looking to support teams building innovative open-source infrastructure that can accelerate the blockchain gaming space and foster collaboration, wrote Game7 in its FAQ. In the ninth new, BlockFi files for bankruptcy, cites FTX collapse for its troubles. The crypto lender was previously rescued by FTX following Terra's stablecoin collapse. In the tenth new, Bitcoin will teleport to $14,000 or worse if BTC breaks $16,000, analyst. Bitcoin faces pressure from China, a stock market trend in addition to the FTX fallout. In the eleventh new, Tokenized government bonds free up liquidity in traditional financial systems. There are a number of benefits associated with tokenized government bonds, yet adoption may take time. In the 12th new, the metaverse is a new frontier for earning passive income. Those looking to earn passive income in the metaverse have several available options, but how profitable and durable these are isn't yet clear. In the 13th new, Bitcoin is the king of crypto brand awareness for OSSES, report. The IRCI report states that Australians still believe in Bitcoin and that the boomer demographic is growing in conviction. In the 14th new, Binance CEO explains 127k BTC transfer points to proof of reserve audit. A few weeks ago, CZ declared that it's bad news when exchanges move large amounts of crypto to prove their wallet address. In the 15th new, Aave temporarily freezes lending markets to fend off further attacks. The temporarily frozen lending markets include 12 Ethereum-based tokens and 5 stablecoins. In the 16th new, Line shuts down crypto exchange to focus on blockchain and LN token. The Japanese messaging giant will still continue to support its Line blockchain ecosystem and the Link token despite the ongoing industry challenges. In the 17th new, how Web3 resolves fundamental problems in Web2. Web3 is the next era internet based on decentralized architecture and some innovative concepts. Find how Web3 resolves fundamental problems in Web2. In the 18th new, FTX collapse put the Singapore government in a parliamentary hot seat. 
The opposition party MPs has questioned the credibility over its failure to protect retail investors from FTX collapse and had demanded data on the extent of losses incurred by the investors. In the 19th new, new BTC miner capitulation. Five things to know in Bitcoin this week. Bitcoin miners face a shakeout, one metric warns as the November monthly close looms for BTC. In the 20th new, AAX exec leaves the crypto exchange amid ongoing operational halt. Former AAX executive Ben Caselin said that his role in the firm became hollow and that the trust in the brand is broken. In the 21st new, FTX collapse drives curiosity around Sam Bankman Fried, Google data shows. In November, the crypto community investigated and found SBF guilty of manipulating and misappropriating users' funds, ultimately leading to the fall of the empire built around FTX. In the 22nd new, FTX under active civil and criminal investigation, Bahamas AG. Bahamian Securities Commission, the Prime Minister's Financial Intelligence Unit, and a Financial Crimes Unit, are all involved in the FTX investigation. In the 23rd new, Three Arrows Suzu reveals latest attempts at a comeback post-FTX. The fall of FTX appears to have brought back certain crypto villains out from hiding, one even wants to start a new podcast series. In the 24th new, Dogecoin jumps after Elon Musk shares glimpse into Twitter 2.0 plans. Dogecoin investors continue to be hopeful that Musk's vision for Twitter 2.0 will include some form of Doge integration. In the 25th new, bizarre $600,000 Elon Musk crypto statue marketing stunt falls flat. Elon Musk has not made any public comments regarding a bizarre $600,000 monument of him as a goat, which was delivered to the Tesla headquarters on the weekend. In the 26th new, crypto Twitter calls for calm after WETH insolvency joke goes viral. Ethereum bull Anthony Sarsano and Gnosis co-founder Martin Koppelman were among those explaining later that the wrapped Ethereum, WETH, FUD, was part of an inside joke. In the 27th new, FTX fall was incredibly damaging, crypto must foster real utility, Ripple policy lead. Ripple's APAC policy director said the collapse of FTX is exactly why crypto needs to move away from hype cycles and toward real utility. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.